This week on Fishing and Adventure, we're out at White Island catching big kingfish. Get them up! Oh. <laughs> don't fall in! Don't fall in. <laughs> Situated in the heart of the Eastern Bay of Plenty is New Zealand's sunniest town, Whakatane. An idyllic spot flanked by steep hills in the Whakatane River, this is one area which keeps on providing the goods from stunning scenery to epic coastal fishing missions. With a mint three-day forecast, we made the plan to spend a couple of days chasing offshore tablefish before heading close to the coast to take advantage of the inshore fishing opportunities. Launching is as easy as it gets into the river via the all-tide concrete ramp, but be sure to call Coast Guard to log a trip report before crossing the bar. One of Whakatane's biggest draw cards would have to be its proximity to the legendary White Island, which is around 50 k's from the boat ramp. Well, I don't think we could have picked a better weather window, Mick. She's a beautiful day in the bay. Absolutely. No wind, no swell. Just makes it nice and easy getting over that bar and, and out to where we want to fish. Today's mission is to head out wide, Got a pretty cool challenge ahead of us, so I'm interested to see what we can get into. Uh, first things first, few liveies here, hopefully. Fill the tank up and then out to the deep grounds for the challenge. Oh. Excited, mate? Yeah, it's going to be a good day. yoo -hoo! Once the sun's up, live bait can be difficult to find, so we had to work hard for them and only ended up with around five jack mackerel. Ideally, a few more liveies would have been good, but we had some top quality dead baits in the chilli bin, so we're confident we could get on some solid fish out wide. This week's challenge is to catch over two metres in length of tablefish. Only one fish from each species can be measured and no upgrading is allowed. All right, deep water White Island. 200 metres, fairly deep, so we're going to try and tick off a couple of these different species and get our lengths sorted. So we've got 200 metres and it drops right away to about 300. So we're just marking bits of sign on the edge of that pin there. Hopefully it's uh, some nice deep water tablefish. So the rig we're going with is a fairly simple, this is just a pre-made hooker puka trace from Black Magic. Big sinker at the bottom there, that's tied onto a little bit of 60 pound as a breakaway. So if that gets stuck down in the weeds and the rocks, that breaks. So you still get your line back because of fishing with heavy gear. Big heavy trace. Got a live jack mac at the bottom there, one of our max we caught earlier. And the second hook sitting above that's just got a half a bullet tuna. There you go, yeah, definitely a bite. 100%, yeah, you're on now. Yeah, yeah, Mig's on. That worked a treat. Yeah. The old little hook ring. That's what it's there for. The old prospect. The only problem is now I need to wind up 200 <laughs> metres for a little yeah. granddaddy harp hooker. Or... Yeah, probably. Well, hopefully it's something you can chuck on the old measuring mat. Well, yeah, well, that's a good point. It won't be a very long. But... Yeah, but it's, if it's a species that, you, you know, that's all, normally quite small, it all adds to the tally, mate. It adds to the, and as long as it's a table fish. It's on my big hook. Oh, yeah? Two of them. Two of them? Three yeah. of them? Yeah! Three of them! <laughs> and, and you got you. me. And you got me. <laughs> Doesn't look like it would be great eating, but these are actually fantastic eating. 30 centimetre Jock Stewart there, which is about. That'll get a lot bigger. So we'll whip some fillets off that for lunch. That'll be tasty. And that adds to my telly. On the board, Mick. Chores. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Mick. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one too. What base did you have there, Mick? Uh, flapped up jack mackerel, actually. Oh, flapped up jack mackerel. Yep, of course. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it wasn't caught on that. But yeah. other than that, it was the uh, hard pocket squid. Oh, yeah, from Top Catch. Yeah, this combo here is definitely pretty universal. Caught marlin on it. Yeah, well proven, eh? Yeah, caught kingies on it. So hopefully, this is something a little bit different. Oh, what have we got? Oh, yeah, blue nose! It is? <laughs> no, it's a bass. It's a little bass, isn't it? It's a bass. Yeah, mate. Bass time. That's what we wanted. <laughs> That's a cool tasty fish. morsel. <laughs> nice work, Working. buddy. 
on the uh, squid, it was. It was on the squid, yeah, yeah. Woo! It's actually the first bass I've ever caught, so. Hop Very much buddy. on the small size. These guys get absolutely ginormous. That's a nice, it's quite a nice size for filleting and handling and... Fitting in the chilli bin. Landing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fitting in the chilli bin, that helps. 69. That makes my total what you see just under here, because I'm not very good at maths. <laughs> so you see it on the screen. It's my total. Oh, oh that's the bottom. Oh, that's a fish. Here he goes. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> We're out from Whakatane at White Island, where the offshore challenge is set to land over two metres in length of table fish. We kick things off with deep drops and Miggers on the board with a Jock Stewart and a tasty little bass. We've now moved spots to try to get onto something different. King is the target species now, and that is what you're looking for on your sounder when you're targeting kingfish, especially in these sort of deeper areas, for nice big packs of bait fish and then bits of sign scattered all around it, so that's some good sign. So we'll drop some baits and jigs and cast some stick baits and throw a bit of everything around here and see what we can get. Everyone uses jigs and liveys to target kingies, obviously, but you can use a dead bait, especially in this area we've found. So I'm just going to hook that. This is a bullet tuner from Top Catch. Straight through both top and bottom mouth there. That just sits like that. So that looks nice and natural as it sinks down. That's on our Black Magic Live bait hook. 80-pound fluorocarbon onto a big, heavy-duty swivel there. It's all black magic stuff, obviously. And we've got a sinker running above that there, like that. So we're just gonna let that drop down. It's gonna look like basically a stray line, big bullet tuna. That's a little white spot, eh? Yeah, I think. Oh, oh that's the bottom. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, fish. Oh, yeah. yeah, good fish, good fish. Yep. Yeah. Get him up, Scotty. Get him up, Scotty. No, that oh. Macara can handle it, boy. <laughs> oh, that makes us drag out a bit more. Hey? I gotta get this drag up a bit, I think. I don't know, I think I'm quite near the bottom. I don't actually know where I hooked him, but he's a big fish. Back. Yeah, he hasn't really gone on a massive run yet, it's weird. I hope he just keeps fighting me like this for the time being, because maybe go about forward, Mick. Yeah, here he goes. Oh, no, there he goes. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know how far off the bottom I am, I just gotta. We're good, we're good. Keep we're going, Mick, keep going. Keep going straight, Mick. Left hand down, left hand down. How deep? 66, bro. Still not that deep. It's weird, this is a strange fighting fish. It's kind of, all of a sudden, it feels like a monster. Just trying to drive this fish out of the shallow water into deeper water, because, to be honest with you, I wasn't really paying attention, so I had no idea where I hooked him. Looking at that spool, though, he's a fair way down. Whatever the case, Mick, I'm measuring him in. You're measuring him in? Yeah, if I get him in, I've got to get him in first, though. He's definitely a solid fish. Glad I hooked this big fish on this combo. It's well proven. Woo! <laughs> the Makaira in the CD jig rod. Epic big kingy combo. Just turns the head around whenever you need it to. Stacks of stopping power on this reel. What the kingfish will do, it'll go on these big blistering runs and it'll chill out for a second. It's not like you're chilling out, it's just conserving energy. Just slowly kicking its tail. Impressive scrappers, so they just keep on going. Oh, yeah, he's a big old fish. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy. I'm chucking it out there. It's the biggest kingfish fishing in adventures ever caught. Holy It's the, the biggest. Gas in the mouth. It's the biggest kingfish fishing in adventures ever caught. Get in the mouth there, bro. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Sink it. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think you <laughs> Look at Holy it! Holy crap! Look at it! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> On the dead bait! <laughs> On the dead bait! <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Holy oh, hell! Oh. That's Whoa. a beast! Holy oh. crap, he was a big fish! Oh. Hey. It's like a big mess of tuna! <laughs> Look at it, it's ginormous! <laughs> oh my god, I know he's that big! Look at that hook in the oh, corner of the man. mouth, man! Like, Absolutely. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's one hell of a fish. That, how long is that thing? <laughs> Looks like he might have been hooked in the past too by somebody and, oh. and, got, and got away. Well, we had the stopping oh. power. Flipping oh. hell, he must have been close to the bottom. Oh, I'm stoked. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. Man. Cheers, bro. Nice work on the helm. See, that was it. Teamwork, eh? Yeah. So there you go, that black magic live bait hook.
Nine bar row right in the corner of the mouth, perfectly. The 80 pound fluorocarbon, that held up. Didn't get to the bush, luckily. Thankfully, we were able to drive him out of the, out of that shallow water. Well, not was that shallow, but man, he's a grunter. He's covered in all sorts of scars and things. We're gonna try and get this guy back in the drink. Quick photo and then send him on his way, eh? Don't know how heavy he is, but he's gotta quickly measure him. What do we say? Just quickly measure him yeah, off this. Where is he? Go to there. Where is he then, Mick? About that the end? It's the V of his tail there. End of his tail there to that top eye. Uh, second to top eye. Okay, there's the photos. <laughs> Get some white island in the back. Yeah. Oh. All right, back in the drink, fella. Oh. <laughs> Is he going to power off? Oh, hopefully he goes away. He wouldn't have him out of the water that long, did we? It was a big Ooh, fight. He's struggling. <laughs> it was a big fight. Around, he'll mate. come right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll hopefully he'll come right. Although we did try and let him go, he doesn't seem to want to swim away. So it looks like we're going to have to take him, but that's OK, because None of those fish will go to waste. I mean, a big kingy like this will feed a lot of a lot of people. We've got a big family, and uh, we'll utilise every single bit of it. So we'll bring him back in. Yep. You got it there, Mick? Oh. Oh. And uh, that guy there can uh, come home with us. Thanks for the fight, buddy. I was worried about the drag being a little bit too loose. Not a chance. I wonder what back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so tail of the tape would suggest that this guy is exactly one metre 40. Gee, that's a big chunk off the total. <laughs> <laughs> In one fish. Damn, Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the biggest king I've ever caught. It's smashed my PB. Glowing with excitement after the big kingfish, we decided to put the rods away for the day and check out the impressive volcano that is White Island. White Island is regarded as one of the most fascinating and accessible volcanoes on Earth, and the geology near the crater is like a moonscape, with sulphur beds, solidified lava, and no vegetation. It breathes, roars, and hisses, and is New Zealand's most active cone volcano. White is a major tourist attraction, and day trips to the island via boat or helicopter are available from both Whakatane and Tauranga. Back in the early 1900s, sulphur mining was attempted but then abandoned after a crater wall collapsed, causing a landslide which killed all 10 sulphur miners. A stunning piece of New Zealand scenery, and it must be said that this is up there with one of the most awesome places we've ever been to. Content with our day's fishing, we left the volcano to smoke away and powered home to gear up for day two of our offshore adventure. An extremely essential piece of equipment for us is our boat. What we needed for the types of fishing we do is an aluminium boat which is practical, hard wearing, allows us to safely get out wide and into all types of offshore fishing. Aluminium boats have come a long way in the last few years and things like a deep V will ensure your ride is a comfortable one and a stability ballast allows the boat to be stable at rest. Built here in Whakatane, Surtees boats tick all the boxes, they're built to fish and these guys are so confident with their product they've given a 10 year warranty on all hulls. <laughs> Jeez, Mig, got to put a bit of hurt back on him, man, because you're going to get to that bush. We're up from Whakatane at White Island with the two metre length challenge. Mig was off to a good start with a couple of deep water eaters before I landed my best kingfish to date, measuring 1.4 metres and over 35 kgs. Day two is dawn, and we're now back out in the deep water, hoping to land some different table fish for the challenge. Cherokee are the target species for this spot, so uh, they're fairly, fairly easy sort of fish to target. There you go, right there, the Cherokee terror. Cherokee have really small mouths, so you're using small bits of bait and then small hooks. That's a bit of squid. That's a little bit of bonito or bullet tuna there. Those are the size of baits we're going to put on these hooks. It's 100 metres deep here, so we're just going to drift. Just try and just hold the line angle nice and straight by keeping the boat in gear. And as it often goes with the Tarakee, once they, once you find them, they're usually pretty hungry, so that's what we're hoping for here. So a little bit of low-lying reef that we found out in about 100 metres of water. Oh, yeah, Mickey, I've got a bite too. Yeah, Mickey! Oh, nice, Mickey. What have we got, Terry Key? Well, that didn't take long. Oh, no, I might just dropped off. One of them did, anyway. Oh, I forgot you, I think, actually. Yeah, we've got each other. 
We got each other, and that's a lot for love. It's Miggy and Scott. Oh. Double hook up on the Terakihi. That's good. Good start to the spot. Bang on. What do, what, do, what do you reckon we are measuring in at, me? Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> not the longest fish in the world. Conditions have pretty much done the opposite to what they're supposed to do, but it's all right. Yep. Sometimes happens. You can do. We can deal with it. We've got the certes. Got some good weight on this one. Okay, colour mug. Oh, it looks like a biggie. Yeah, it is a goodie. Oh. Oh, there's a double hey, wee. Double dactyls. Oh, nice. Ah, yeah. That bottom one's a nice size too. Get him in. Yeah. It's a solid one. Wicked. I wanted something similar on here. It's quite a bit of weight here too. Ha-ha. I got a one times questionable, two times beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Terra Keys, beauty. Hauling them in. That's what we're here for. All right, chuck them on the measuring tape, eh? Oh, hang on, are you? Here, 37? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 37. Yeah. Okay, cool, 37, so. He's 38. Fifty on the board. Still well and truly behind, though, so hopefully I can get a kingy some stage today or a very, very long car one. <laughs> but, um, pop him in the bin. It's all good. Hell yeah, nice fish, Mick. Looking to treat. Yeah, Mick, load him up. Oh, what is that? Where is it? Oh, Pink Mau Mau. Is yeah? It? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one, mate. Get them in. Measure him up. Hey, hello, oh, on and the a bottom. Good tear. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Just another example of a fish you catch on an offshore reef when fishing with baits. Yeah, beautiful eating by the sounds, so. Let's see, 36 and a half. I'll give you 37, mate. I'm feeling generous. Oh, yeah, pretty good. All about that. All right, good stuff. Nice, lovely white flesh. Cooks up a treat. Wicked. And the bit. Oh, it's definitely feeling questionable, Mick. Yeah? Uh, it's a bit of weight there, but it's definitely not a, a bass like you caught. Oh, yeah, it's just questionable. That? Oh, you're master you know of the questionable species. Do we know what? Oh, oh no, it's no. a Jock Stewie. Jock Stewie. Another one of these guys. All right. Oh, not bad size. Not a bad size, Mick. Oh, that, that might just get you over the line. Well, I think it definitely will. But what have you got left? How much? How long? Oh, uh, not a lot. I don't know. I got about like 23 centimeters or something. And I think that guy will be that. Oh. If you claim one yesterday, then I'll claim one tonight. That's gonna be close. <laughs> That's gonna be close. Then. Yeah. Win the challenge with a Jock Stewart. Oh, well and truly. <laughs> yes, 30 centimeters. Just uh, 31 centimeters, I think. Well, that's my challenge fish, and that's challenge completed. Tick. Have you we're completed? Not, yeah, we're not done, Mig. I'm going to try and get you to win your challenge. I think we need to get Mig to also yeah. experience life as a uh, non-consequencer. I'm going to let this guy go, by the way. Even though he is eatable, and we said this yesterday when Mig caught one, we're going to let this guy go, because I'm happy with this fish. I don't want to kill him. You going to swim away, buddy? Yep, off he goes, ever so slowly, as they do. Yep. Back to the depths. Oh, the albatross are keen. <laughs> <laughs> you could have had him if you were a bit more onto it, mate. Too slow. With the deep drop providing only smaller fish, we made the call to head closer to White Island to try to get Mig over the line with a kingfish on a jig. Yep. Got him, Mig? Yep. What do we got, Miggy? Is it legal? Oh, I think it is. Good. Looks like a good fish. I don't even know if he knows he's hooked yet. Come on, Mig. Ooh, win that challenge. What do I need? I don't need a lot, do I? Oh, no, you just need a legal fish. Legal. If it's a legal king, then you'll clean, you're well and truly in the challenge. <sighs> Woohoo! Hey, hey, hey! Come on. Jeez, Mig, you gotta put a bit of hurt back on him, man, because you're gonna get to that bush. That's good. He's good. <laughs> Loving it. Come on, mate. It's like a good fish on the jig. I do oh, love me a bit of. Uh, Jig spin as well. I like jigging with a spin, a spin, spin combo. It means you can just focus on your jigging because you don't have to lay the line on when you're trying to jig. You can just absolutely go to town. 100% legal, Mick. Yeah. All we gotta do is get him in the boat, friend. Got some colour here. Nice. He looks like a good fish, Mick. 
on the jig. It's a real goodie on the jig. <laughs> it's another big king. Hey. It's another big king. Anything wrong with that guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait. Come up, back up, step back, oh. step back. I'll get him. A couple of reps on the leader there. Grab him by the tail. Get him in, Scotty. Yeah, yeah <laughs> boy. No, that's big. Well done. Oh, that's wicked. Challenge ticked off. Yes. Cracking fish. No consequence for either of us. Beautiful. That's some mean fishing, eh? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Hold him up, brother. Oh, what a mean fish. Well and truly gets that, uh, that challenge done, which is cool. He's still fighting fit, so we'll send him back. Back on his way. That'll probably ah. be, yes, we'll probably be on our way as well, I reckon. Yeah, may as well, mate. Cruise Get that guy back. back in the drink and we'll cruise on back. Alrighty. For no consequence. Sorry about that, guys, but uh, <laughs> maybe next week. Alrighty, back in the drink. Back in the drink.